Hello everyone! Happy New Year! I'm glad to see you on my channel and in this video I would like to summarize uh, major machine learning events of uh, last year 2020. I will also like to think about what uh, can we expect from 2021. If you're interested then let's get started. COVID-19 switched public attention from futuristic goals to searching for practical solutions to an exponentially growing pandemic. Combination of trends in machine learning, medical research and world-challenging problems seem to be ideal way to show how breakthrough technology can save the world. Unfortunately, artificial intelligence failed in its attempt to prevent the spread of COVID-19. However, we could see that um, there was an interest uh, in of machine learning researchers to biomedical and healthcare field. Researchers at MIT have trained the model on a large number of such samples of cuffs and oral words, and their AI model distinguished asymptomatic people from healthy individuals. Machine learning was used to create optimal supply chains for COVID vaccine distribution, for screening of uh, symptoms of coronavirus and discovering the structure of the virus. I think that in 2021, uh, machine learning in biomedical research and healthcare will continue to be a trend. In 2020, main event in natural language processing was the release of powerful general-purpose language model GPT-3 with 175 billion parameters. This model uh, had uh, received tens of thousands of applications for those who get an access to uh, beta testing. While GPT-3 was not available uh, to general public, OpenAI uh, license GPT-3 to Microsoft to develop their own products and services. I hope that in 2021 GPT-3 will be available to broader audience uh, either uh, through um, open source code uh, released by OpenAI or at least uh, through uh, Microsoft uh, services. Another topic to pay attention in 2021 is transfer learning. In 2020, over 500 papers related to this topic were published, and I hope that this trend will continue. Language models became uh, accessible for low resource languages that are languages without relevant data sets. Following the success of Text to Text Transfer Transformer, which was open sourced in October 2020, state of the art performance on many cross lingual natural language processing tasks uh, were seen in November 2020. In uh, 2020, uh, we have seen uh, the appearance of uh, Reformer, Performer, Longformer, and another different versions of transformer model. So these are more efficient versions of transformer and uh, I think that in 2021 uh, transformer will remain uh, the main machine learning model. In computer vision what was interesting is that um, researchers found that um, Transformer models, which are uh, efficient uh, and can generate coherent text, uh, can also uh, generate um, coherent images if trained on uh, pixel sequences. Another interesting field, uh, which um, continued to be uh, developed in 2020, was uh, self-supervised self-supervised learning methods. Uh, which propose to learn general image and video features from large-scale unlabeled data without using any human annotated labels. Reinforcement learning has always been considered an expensive way of teaching machines. Therefore, in past, this area of machine learning was a privilege of a limited group of academic researchers. 
In 2020, there was no breakthrough in reinforcement learning. However, businesses were trying to explore reinforcement learning due to scarcity of resources and relevant data. Thank you for watching my video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe. And if you like my video, don't forget to press a like button.